Hi guys. Um, hope all is well. Um, I I'm doing a slightly uh, spiritual topic today. Um, something interesting. Something that um, I was thinking about. <laughs> you know, for myself as well. Um, so the. Uh, the topic that we're looking at today is uh, how intuitive are you okay so um, in front of you are three piles pile one pile two pile three pile one is the angelite pile two is the amethyst and pile three is the rutilated quartz right so please pause your videos and pick your pile how intuitive are you <clears throat> let's see <laughs> let's start It has been a while since I'm at my work studio and uh, it's fun. I was out and I really needed it, <laughs> to be frank. Okay, so let's start with uh, pile one, Angelite. How intuitive are you, pile one? visions psychic images clairvoyance seeing out of body travel wow that answers the question right in the first card itself but let's see hmm death okay ace of swords all right very powerful cards i must say And play. Hmm. Okay. Right. Now, pile one. <laughs> How intuitive are you? Very. I mean, I don't know if you guys... I don't know why you're asking. I'm, I'm sure it's just a validation. Um, but you're very intuitive, pile one. Very, very intuitive. And um, with the play card, however, I sense that um it's possible you don't take it seriously okay i mean um <laughs> if you ask me you guys have uh, literally abilities uh, almost you know as much as like really powerful psychics or seers or something like that you guys are very intuitive, okay? Now, I sense that it's possible that it was initially, um, you know, it didn't manifest as anything uh, major. It's possible that you were quite um, playful about it at one point of time. It's possible that, uh, you know, you used to have some flashes maybe of intuition or something. This is deep water, however, but I sense a sense of playfulness here. Okay, and um, what I'm seeing is it's possible that you guys uh, went through something major, okay, that kind of, um, you know, triggered these abilities in you, all right? It's almost like there was some sort of a rebirth that happened, all right? It's possible you went through uh, some very... Um, tough situations in your life it's possible they, have, they were very abrupt tough changes that happened in your life and that sort of like you know made your inner self emerge all right um there was definitely a breakthrough moment it's possible it happened very suddenly it's possible it happened after this abrupt change that i am seeing over here okay uh, it might have been something traumatic <laughs> please take it as it resonates but it might have been something traumatic i sense uh, it's also possible that um you know 
there was some sort of a personality change that occurred because of that this is like the snake shedding its skin all right i see a full moon here as well so it's possible any kind of shedding any kind of death and rebirth is painful all right i am sensing that you know you were quite okay and then suddenly something happened and that kind of triggered this these abilities for you um pile one okay all of a sudden i sense it happened it must have been unexpected for most of you i sense okay uh but this was like almost like you know what i'm seeing is uh, a very huge surge of power it's almost as though you know like when the snake shed its skin the real self that emerged out of it was someone so powerful you know and this is the ace of swords this is clarity all right these are this is a water emotion so i sense it's possible that you know you were um very closely in tune with your intuition when it came to your uh, when it came to your emotions all right it's possibly you could it's possible that you could sense um you know emotionally it's possible you were a uh, clear sentient uh, or something on those lines but somehow after something happened here i i'm seeing you guys like launch off <laughs> and these two are air cards um now i'm going to come to this uh, visions all right this this whole card is speaking to me so much all right we have the moon here we have the moon here so there is strong intuition for you pile one all right psychic images clairvoyance seeing out of body travel right so you guys um are probably clairvoyant all right you can see things um you have visions right you um you're more visual i sense all right uh, more there are a lot of clairs i am sure you know about it but one of the major clairs for you guys is clairvoyance is what i'm seeing along with that i'm also seeing out of body travel it's possible that you guys uh, have astral projections i am sensing when i pair up this these two cards um the ace of swords and this visions it's almost like you know both these people are like in the sky so there is something about the air element in this right maybe you guys are air signs even if you are not maybe there's a heavy presence of air uh in in your chart okay but you guys are very uh very intuitive people you have your clairs especially clairvoyants very very activated and uh, i'm seeing very clear sight all right i mean if you guys are not in this energy i sense that if you try to develop something like this it's going to really really be very strong if you really want it all right it's possible some of you um in the beginning stages of this ability um are traveling uh doing astral travel in your dreams okay there might have been instances where you felt like you were in another place that you were traveling meeting people in some other land all of this in your dreams that's how it sort of you know um manifests itself initially okay and if you go further down this road because ace is also a beginning of this ability if you go further down this road i am seeing that you guys uh, will start getting psychic impressions you will start seeing things maybe you will start seeing auras um energies um visions uh maybe even have um conscious out of body uh, uh travel or astral projection or even interdimensional travel all right you are um literally like a creature of the air is what i'm getting here i'm actually seeing two right uh over here it's like this is your earth self and this is your astral self so it's almost like you are intertwined with your astral which we are right we are all connected to our astral bodies but you have the ability uh to connect with your astral body because these two people are holding hands all right you have an ability to connect with your astral and that astral is very very strong in clairvoyance in 
um, you know, seeing uh, auras in out of body travel, all of that stuff. Right. Now, I do feel that um, it's possible you guys, some, for some of you, I feel it's possible you don't want to go that high, you know, because of whatever uh, reasons, you know, they, not everybody wants to explore these skills. And I sense for you, pal one, that you're not very interested in this or, or at least at this point, you're not very interested in it because I am seeing, um, you know, with this play card, I sense that, you know, you probably like to keep it simple. <laughs> you don't want to go floating away into that world too much, possibly. Um, I don't know, maybe some of you don't even believe in it. Because I do sense that, you know, maybe either you're underplaying these abilities if you have them, or um, you don't want to take them very seriously. All right? So it, it is something like, you know, if you guys were to take these abilities seriously, um, you would be having a very major perception, a very clear perception and a very um, expansive perception of reality. It's possible you guys are very evolved souls, okay, and you're just like wanting to um, be a bit grounded so that, you know, you don't sort of lose out on the earth experience, okay? It's possible that that's the case, right? Because I am seeing that, you know, there is a hesitation to get into this, all right? But whatever the case is, your abilities, Pile 1, are very strong. They're very clear as well, all right? So it's almost like if you guys were... Um, if you guys did have some sort of vision, some sort of dreams, they might be something very powerful, very strong and very clear. All right. Now, the other thing that I'm seeing in this spread is also <clears throat> an ability to communicate with the dead. All right. With the death card, I'm sensing that, you know, it's possible you either see uh, passed over spirits or something like that. You know, um, maybe you see them in dreams. Maybe you see them otherwise in apparitions or something like that. Okay, um, yeah, for some of you, I'm sensing that you have mediumship abilities as well. Um, I also feel that you guys are extremely clear-headed people. So at times I feel this stuff that you get, it's like a little bit much for you. All right, somewhere on a very intrinsic level, you probably understand these things but somehow there is a hesitation to actually delve deeper all right you guys are probably star seeds you guys are probably uh, you know um ancient 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 souls with a lot of wisdom with a lot of uh, powers uh, esp extrasensory powers um which i feel have not come to the forefront for most of you Maybe you're uh, hesitant because, you know, these powers are so, so, so strong that they would probably like, you know, catapult you into something, into a life that's very different. And you want to have fun. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> okay, you want to have fun, you know. So I think, you know, there is a hesitation here to believe in these powers that you have. All right. But if you do want to do something about this if you want to explore it more then uh, you can do that pile one you guys have you're like a treasure house of um intuition all right um you're very very intuitive people all right so with that um uh, let's go to uh, pile two Right, so pile two with the amethyst. The mirror, know thyself, self-examination, seeing who you really are. Five of pentacles. Palace of cups. Abundance. Okay. 
Okay. I hope you can see these. Um, just kind of. So pile two, how intuitive are you? Okay. I feel pile two that you guys are very intuitive people, but you don't see it. All right. You don't see it. You probably undermine yourself. Um, you know, you need some sort of self-introspection, some self-examination to understand just how intuitive you are. I'm seeing that, you know, it's possible that, you know, you have a fear of uh, maybe being very intuitive or you probably feel inadequate. You probably feel not good enough or something like that, you know, um, in terms of this, um, in terms of how intuitive you are. I, I'm sensing that, you know, there, there's a feeling of maybe, uh, you know, it's, there might be thoughts such as, you know, I, I'll be considered weird if I use my intuitive senses, if I talk about them or something like that, right? I'm really seeing that, you know, um, there is some doubt, there is some feeling of uh, not fitting in if you do actually go into your intuitive self. All right. Now, I feel that, you know, you guys, if you were to actually concentrate, if you were to really examine, you know, uh, your abilities, you guys are very, very intuitive. OK, with the Palace of Cups here, it is the Palace of Water. Water is the element of intuition, psychic sight, etc. And when I pair it up with the abundance card, I'm also getting that, you know, um, you guys are very, very intuitive people. I sense that, you know, maybe um, you guys kind of are maybe not in a place where you can really concentrate on these gifts, where you can concentrate on these intuitions. And uh, probably that's why you are not aware or not even ready at this point to explore something like this. Okay. But there is like a, almost a treasure here of intuition that I'm seeing. It's like, you know, you need to shine a light upon it. You need to shine a light upon it. Because once you do pile two, I'm seeing a lot of abundance in this area. For some of you, I'm also getting that, you know, it's possible, um, you know, that it might need someone else, you know, to trigger off uh, your intuitive abilities. All right. It's possible it could be a romantic partner. It's possible it could be a soul tribe member, a friend, a guru, uh, whatever it is. Right. It needs somebody else to unlock this potential within you. It's possible you guys have felt that you were not intuitive. I sense that for some of you, that you felt that you were not intuitive. But some, someone or some, uh, some sort of an examination, self-examination is going to actually shine light upon exactly how much you have in terms of intuition. You're very intuitive people, uh, pal too, but you're not seeing it. Nope, I don't see that. I see that you, um, some of you, you might not have even considered it. Some of you, if you have had uh, some sort of insights, you um, thought it was not good enough or something like that. All right. And here it's asking you to actually introspect, know thyself, right? See who you really are. When you do some introspection, looking inwards rather than outwards, you are going to come into this treasure of abundance. All right. There is something about finances here as well. Now, five of coins is about, um, you know, feeling um, as though you don't have enough financial stability. It's possible some of you might be... Um, 
able to concentrate on these kind of abilities after you have um you know looked after your uh, physiological needs after you've uh, looked after looked after your material needs you know you have you have a stable um sort of uh, material life uh, you have financial stability all of that stuff and then you know maybe you would like to explore something like this all right maybe you are not in a place right now to explore something like this and that's perfectly fine that's all right okay but you need to know that you guys uh, you know when you tap in when you tune in you have a world of intuition to explore now when i see the palace of cups i am seeing all clairs here clairvoyance clairaudience clairsentience whatever clair clairs that are there i feel you guys might have all of them a lot of you i sense would be water signs here uh because i'm seeing water here and water here and palace of cups to me is is a lot of water or right, you have very good psychic abilities when you want to explore them um uh, pile 2 you guys are going to be blessed with uh almost all clairs activated i'm see but i sense that it's not the time yet right there is a lot of uh introspection there's a lot of uh, shadow work maybe there is also a lot of uh, your um, material uh, financial stability that you might uh, look at once you guys uh, you know when when it's the right time then you guys are going to go into something like this if you want all right but as of now i'm i'm seeing more emphasis on the base all right on the foundation on the base chakra this is the red color it's a root chakra right so i am sensing that you know you guys are not at all in the mood or the place at this point of time to actually explore these kind of things but when you are in a more calm in a more relaxed state of mind in a you know in better circumstances i feel that you know you guys uh, can actually um, tap into almost all your clairs you're very very intuitive people i feel now i also feel with this self examination i sense that the day you want to tap into your intuition the day you want to uh, you know take some uh, insights from your intuition meditation is the best way to do it all right introspection meditation self examination look into yourself deep within your heart right contemplate that is when you will have insights i'm seeing like you know very very clear uh, light being beamed upon you when you ask for it so even when you're actually uh, uh, this is like an advice coming through even when you are in this stage of kind of doubting yourself for whatever area of your life that you are in uh, if you're doubting yourself if, if you're thinking you you're not clear about your direction in the future you can uh, meditate and tap into your intuition to lead you to the right way pile 2 because this is like your uh, lighthouse all right your inner self is your lighthouse it is always going to guide you uh, to the right path <clears throat> you will not be feeling you know um <clears throat> you will not be feeling left out you will not be feeling um as though you're not good enough if you actually tap into your intuition in fact there is an encouragement here to start tapping into your intuition to lead you to your highest and best life only your self introspection only self examination is going to open up the doors for your intuition to lead your way to abundance and prosperity from this five of cups um situation of feeling not good enough take the help of your intuition you're very intuitive people it's time to use your intuition pile 2 it's this is what i'm getting from you guys for you guys you have very good abilities and these are almost like gifts from the universe from the divine um to lead you <clears throat> to your best life to your best to your prosperity abundance whatever it is okay so this is <laughs> what i'm getting for pile number 2 now let's go to pile 3 
Okay, so pile three with the rutilated quartz. Let's see. Telepathy, non-verbal communication, energetic pulses, mind reading. Tells us quite a bit. Queen of Wands. Five of Swords, Inner Strength, okay. Okay, so pile three, how intuitive are you? I'm sensing you're very intuitive. I think all my piles have been very intuitive. I'm happy. I'm happy to hear this. Um, okay. So pile three, it's like, it's possible you guys, you know, initially, or you could be in that period now also. I feel that primarily you guys are very logical people. All right. I think by nature, I am feeling that, you know, you tend to analyze, overanalyze, dissect, <laughs> uh, you know, before you believe in things. The Five of Swords is typically the card of mental conflict. I do feel that your mind is very strong, um, Pile 3, all right? Um, and so it's possible you guys have difficulty believing uh, whether you're intuitive or not because a lot of your impulses, I sense, uh, might be, uh, you know, just coming in the form of thoughts, all right? And you cannot um, sort of, uh, you know, segregate the thought from the intuition. That is what I'm seeing in the first card, all right? Now, the thing is that you are people who are very passionate and your um, intuition arises from your passion, all right? When I pair up <clears throat> the inner strength card and the queen of wands, I am seeing that this is like your core self, your inner self is... is um, how do I put this? Now, your inner self is very, very strong and passionate, all right? And it is extremely intuitive as well, all right? I'm seeing this electricity crackle in his, you know, on his head here, in his brain, and then in his heart. So I feel that something about your intuition, pile three, comes from the heart, comes from your passion, all right? If your passion is not instilled, is not instigated, um, you know, it, the intuition can just get lost somewhere, all right? It's almost like your passion makes you uh, distinguish whether it's intuition or just thoughts and imagination. You guys are very intuitive, but you are heart-centered, very, very heart-centered. All right. Um, there is something about um, creative energies here, but we will look at it later. OK, now in terms of intuition, I feel you guys, at least at this point, um, you know, have extremely um, <clears throat> strong telepathic telepathy with people. All right. You are good at mind reading. You are good at feeling energetic impulses, energies. Um, there is once again these two mermaids making a heart. There is something about you guys where your intuition gets triggered, um, you know, only via your heart. So it's possible you might find that when you um, love someone or when you closely care about somebody, your intuition rises. Your intuition, you're very intuitive at that point of time, especially when it comes to romance, because I'm seeing this as a heart, all right? So it's, it's something like, you know, when the flame um, of passion gets ignited in you, that kind of triggers off your intuition very strongly, all right? 
um, I'm seeing that you know um, you have the ability to literally carry out uh, conversations telepathically right you can read people you can read their minds you can read their um, <clears throat> you know natures in one go because something in your heart you know gives you that intuition so you are heart-centered intuitives now take it as it resonates because there are different types right there's a brain center there's a heart center there's different types of elements that are involved in this i sense that you know uh, when you guys are um, only in your mind that's the time when the confusion rises your heart is the one that tells you uh, you know the correct intuition all right what what exactly um, how st your your strongest intuitions will come to you from your heart space from your heart chakra all right i'm also feeling that you know um, over here it's almost like i feel there is something like the balancing of balancing of the masculine and the feminine energies here there is a very good balance here and that sort of creates a pathway to uh, you know for your intuition to happen something about the five of swords and the queen of wands is telling me that you know uh, this is like two polarities coming together passion and intellect all right when these two come together you know, there is inner strength all right there is some sort of an electric um bolt of lightning or something like that that you know like if you see over here it's like these two are touching and there's this ray of light this beam of light that is coming up right so there is something about you guys balancing your uh, masculine and feminine and once you do that if you haven't already done that once you do that um, you guys are going to be very very strong at telepathy at uh, intuition at mind reading at feeling energies all right um, I also feel that um, there is something about you know uh, there is a tendency for you guys to have a conflict between the heart and the mind however okay uh, you need to trust your inner self more you need to trust your heart you need to trust your passion when it comes to to in, uh, intuition you need to trust your passion you need to trust your heart that is what is going to give you the clearest of um, the intuitive powers that you have and there is also a message to stop analyzing so much it's almost as though you know everything you know cannot be analyzed uh, you know via a telescope it cannot be you put barriers for your in intuition to actually come through when you are when you're in this five of swords energy you need to accept that you're very very strong um strongly intuitive people with the queen of wands i'm also getting creative energy you're manifestors pile three there is something about you guys which goes beyond intuition okay it is something like your creative passion your creative energies you know it kind of manifests things it you are creators you are manifestors all this fire that i see in this it's it's almost like you know you have the inner strength uh to make things happen but somewhere i think you get conflicted in your mind all right i do feel that um you guys need to balance out all right you need to balance out your masculine and feminine principles energies within yourself to actually um you know come into your full power with the queen of wands and and the inner strength it's like you guys can be extremely powerful people right but it's just that you get stuck in this five of swords energy all right i am also sensing very strong telepathy in this pile so i don't know what it is to me it seems as though you know if you are in love you you are literally on the same page with your partner because something about your you know um, your heart being a flame with that feeling makes your intuition increase as well 
okay so this is like this is pretty amazing guys i mean <clears throat> i think you should stop you know doubting yourself so much and go ahead and go ahead uh, with your instincts with your um beliefs with your convictions all right because you are very strong uh, strongly intuitive people in fact strongly creative people as well <clears throat> so this is what i'm seeing for you guys and with that i'm going to close have a wonderful day bye bye